prefabrication is essentially just taking components of construction and pre-assembling them in an off-site environment. It benefits the project from a safety perspective, from an overall quality, you don't have a lot of people, the labor side of it. So we as a company are definitely trying new things. Primary benefits as they stand today are schedule, absolutely. When you can do something concurrently off-site to the on-site work that's going, you're obviously overlapping schedules and able to pick up time on the project. And then just the simple ability to build something in a controlled environment with some repetition brings a lot of quality control to the process. Prefabrication puts the labor in a different pool. So if I'm, if I'm short on, on labor, if I can improve the productivity, A, and B, if I can actually tap a different labor pool than the, the skilled labor on site, and that's what we've been trying to do is leverage that to mitigate the labor and skilled labor shortage. So the, the no-brainer was exterior panels. So you get dried in faster. No one argues that those benefit your schedule. I haven't had anybody really be able to prove, disprove that. Exterior wall panels is definitely one of the more exciting prefab components that we're doing these days. It has been one that's been able to immediately take hold as a way to save time and save money. We just topped out this structure last week and we're well over 50% of the precast being on the bill. That is awesome to be able to have a finished panel with a finished piece of glass. It just helps you get the building in the dry so much. I think the, the key to prefab is you gotta know what you wanna do, how it's gonna help the job, and how you're gonna execute it, whether you're getting it into the drawings or just making a plan coordination with materials. So the speed of the product going in is just phenomenal. I would say the lead time on this project has been really a key to success. Been a uh, good learning experience to coordinate with Brassford and Gory and their subcontractors in putting the projects together. We really take each project and look at its uniqueness and think about what's the specific project strategy for um, that particular team. It's not a one size fits all. You do have to sit down and figure out what makes sense, not just from a prefab perspective, but also from a lean perspective. It is overall benefit to everyone to get that collaborative environment established early. You stand a better chance of delivering the end product successfully if you know what you're planning around. Prefab offers that to a certain degree. If you know what you're getting, you know what you can plan around, if you know what you can plan around, we can do our job more accurately and faster. I do think that the ability to prefab is all about the ability to trust the plan. The key to that is collaborative partnerships. If the general contractors and sub trades can learn uh, about what success looks like and then communicate that upstream to the design professionals, that as design starts to really be a little bit more geared towards how it will be prefabricated, we're gonna see the industry grow tremendously. This is a mega job. We're gonna have anywhere from you know two to three thousand workers out here at a time and you know all of the nuances and costs associated with parking those workers and bringing them on site and the trash and the toilets and the temporary facilities with them um, are all magnified. Prefabrication makes really good sense to be able to get a lot of the production work done off-site. There's all kinds of improvements in quality, uh, in ergonomics and safety. Ton of benefits that come with being able to successfully implement the prefab labor force that you're able to just keep off of the job site and the needs that you have here logistically to accommodate that labor force, allowing it to be done in a warehouse environment. We prefab as much of this stuff as we possibly can. This is what we've come up with so far and it makes it so smooth. You can load this onto the trailer in just a, a matter of minutes. It's a win-win for everybody. You're saving on labor, you're saving on material, and you're saving on schedule because it's not taking you as long to put it in in the building. The, the long run, the construction schedule wins from that. I, I mean, I think overall, uh, prefabrication is only gonna grow from here. This industry is, is pretty exciting, actually, because it's in a lot of positive changes out there that you can take hold of. 
got, we've got to continue to maintain that thought process and that, that cycle of continuous improvement to continue to spark that innovation and, and continue to gain that, that energy and momentum around it.